So students, in the last session, we discussed about the method of solving problems using partial fraction method. In this session, we shall solve some interesting problems using this method. Find integral dx upon x plus 1 into x plus 2. For the solution, we can see the integrand is a proper rational function. Therefore, by using the form of partial fraction, we write 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 as a upon x plus 1 plus b upon x plus 2, where real numbers a and b are to be determined suitably. This gives 1 is equal to a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. Equating the coefficients of x and the constant term, we get a plus b is equal to 0 and 2a plus b is equal to 1. Solving these equations, we get a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 1. Thus, the integrand is given by 1 upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to 1 upon x plus 1 plus minus 1 upon x plus 2. Therefore, the integral dx upon x plus 1 into x plus 2 is equal to integral of dx upon x plus 1 minus integral dx upon x plus 2. That again can be written as log of modulus x plus 1 minus log of modulus x plus 2 plus c, which again can be written as log of modulus x plus 1 upon x plus 2 plus c. Let us solve one more example. Find integral x square plus 1 upon x square minus 5 x plus 6 dx. For the solution, here the integrand x square plus 1 upon x square minus 5 x plus 6 is not a proper rational function. So, we divide x square plus 1 by x square minus 5 x plus 6 and find that x square plus 1 upon x square minus 5 x plus 6 is equal to 1 plus 5 x minus 5 upon x square minus 5 x plus 6 that is equal to 1 plus 5 x minus 5 upon x minus 2 into x minus 3. Let 5 x minus 5 upon x minus 2 into x minus 3 is equal to a upon x minus 2 plus b upon x minus 3. So, that 5 x minus 5 is equal to a into x minus 3 plus b into x minus 2. Equating the coefficients of x and constant terms, we get a plus b is equal to 5 and 3a plus 2b is equal to 5. Solving these equations, we get a is equal to minus 5 and b is equal to 10. Thus, x square plus 1 upon x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 1 minus 5 upon x minus 2 plus 10 upon x minus 3. Therefore, integral x square plus 1 upon x square minus 5 x plus 6 dx is equal to integral dx minus 5 into integral 1 upon x minus 2 dx plus 10 into integral dx upon x minus 3 that is again equal to x minus 5 log of modulus x minus 2 plus 10 log modulus of x minus 3 plus c. Here let us consider an example in which substitution is made only for the partial fraction part and not for the integral part. Find integral x square upon x square plus 1 into x square plus 4 dx. For the solution, put x square is equal to y, then x square upon x square plus 1 into x square plus 4 can be written as y upon y plus 1 into y plus 4. Therefore, y upon y plus 1 into y plus 4 can be expressed as a upon y plus 1 plus b upon y plus 4. So, that 
y is equal to a into y plus 4 plus b into y plus 1. Comparing coefficients of y and constant terms on both sides, we get a plus b is equal to 1 and 4a plus b is equal to 0, which gives a is equal to minus 1 upon 3 and b is equal to 4 upon 3. Thus, x square upon x square plus 1 into x square plus 4 is equal to minus 1 upon 3 into x square plus 1 plus 4 upon 3 into x square plus 4. Therefore, integral of x square upon x square plus 1 into x square plus 4 is equal to minus 1 upon 3 integral dx upon x square plus 1 plus 4 upon 3 into integral dx upon x square plus 4. That can be written as minus 1 upon 3 tan inverse x plus 4 upon 3 into 1 upon 2 tan inverse x upon 2 plus c, which can be further simplified as minus 1 upon 3 tan inverse x plus 2 upon 3 tan inverse x upon 2 plus c. Now, let us consider an example where the integration involves a combination of the substitution method and the partial fraction method. Find integral 3 sin phi minus 2 into cos phi upon 5 minus cos square phi minus 4 sin phi into d phi. For the solution, let y is equal to sin phi, then dy is equal to cos phi d phi. Therefore, the integral 3 sin phi minus 2 into cos phi upon 5 minus cos square phi minus 4 sin phi can be written as integral 3 y minus 2 upon 5 minus 1 minus y square minus 4 y t y that is equal to integral 3 y minus 2 upon y square minus 4 y plus 4 d y that is equal to integral 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 2 whole square that is equal to say i. Now, we write 3 y minus 2 upon y minus 2 whole square is equal to a upon y minus 2 plus b upon y minus 2 whole square. Therefore, 3 y minus 2 is equal to a into y minus 2 plus b. Comparing the coefficients of y and constant term, we get a is equal to 3 and b minus 2 a is equal to negative 2, which gives a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 4. Therefore, i is equal to integral 3 upon y minus 2 plus 4 upon y minus 2 whole square dy. That is equal to 3 into integral dy upon y minus 2 plus 4 into integral dy upon y minus 2 whole square. That is equal to 3 log modulus y minus 2 plus 4 into minus 1 upon y minus 2 plus c. Therefore, i is equal to 3 log modulus sin phi minus 2 plus 4 upon 2 minus sin phi plus c. Now, students let us discuss the third method integration by parts. This method of integration is found quite useful in integrating products of functions. If u and v are any two differentiable functions of a single variable say x, then by the product rule of differentiation, we have d by dx of u into v is equal to u into dv upon dx plus v into du upon dx. Integrating both sides, we get u into v is equal to integral u into dv upon dx into dx plus integral v du upon dx into dx or integral u into dv upon dx into dx is equal to u v minus integral v into du upon dx into dx. Take it as a first equation. Let u is equal to f of x and dv upon dx is equal to g of x. Then du upon dx is equal to f dash x and v is equal to 
integral of g of x dx. Therefore, equation 1 can be written as integral of f of x g of x dx is equal to f of x integral g of x dx minus integral g of x dx into f dash x dx that is equal to f of x integral g of x dx minus integral of f dash x into integral g of x dx into dx. If we take f as the first function and g as the second function, then this formula may be stated as follows. The integral of the product of two functions is equal to first function into integral of the second function minus integral of differential coefficient of the first function into integral of the second function. Now, let us solve some problems using this method. Find integral x cos x dx. For the solution, put f of x is equal to x as the first function and g of x is equal to cos x as the second function. Then, integrating by parts, we get integral of x cos x dx is equal to x into integral cos x dx minus integral d by dx of x into integral cos x dx into dx that is equal to x sin x minus integral sin x dx. Therefore, integral x cos x dx is equal to x sin x plus cos x plus c. Here we have another example find integral log x dx. For the solution to start with we are unable to guess a function whose derivative is log x. We take log x as the first function and the constant function 1 as the second function. Then integral of log x into 1 dx is equal to log x into integral 1 dx minus integral d by dx of log x into integral 1 dx into dx that is equal to log x into x minus integral 1 upon x into x dx. Therefore, integral log x into 1 dx is equal to x log x minus x plus c. So, students today we studied about the third method integration by parts and solved some questions based on the same. We shall continue with the same in the next session also. Thank you.